Recently, groups opposed to developing clean burning natural gas have been using the term fracked gas to describe this important source of domestic energy. Now, these individuals want the public to believe that natural gas produced through the use of hydraulic fracturing or fracking is somehow different and more dangerous than other forms of natural gas. But is that true? What are the facts? First of all, let's set the record straight about so-called fracked gas. This term is pure invention, and the clever use of the word frack to describe literally anything related to the natural gas industry is nothing more than activist theater designed to score headlines. Opponents have also added the term to phrases that don't even make sense in a shameless attempt to ascribe harm to as many segments of the economy as possible. In reality, using hydraulic fracturing to produce natural gas is not new. The first use of hydraulic fracturing occurred way back in the 1940s and has been used more than one million times since then all across the United States. According to a report from the nonpartisan Congressional Research Service, hydraulic fracturing is used in 90% of all new oil and gas wells in the United States. To date, it's also helped produce more than 600 trillion cubic feet of natural gas. To put that into perspective, 600 trillion cubic feet would satisfy U.S. demand for a quarter century. In fact, the natural gas that flows and has flowed for years through thousands of miles of pipelines throughout the country was likely developed from wells that underwent hydraulic fracturing. This natural gas is what we use every day to cook our food, heat our homes, and power our economy, all safely and responsibly. The fact is, natural gas is natural gas. And claiming so-called fracked gas is somehow different or more dangerous just doesn't match up with the facts. For more information on this and other issues, please visit us at energyindepth.org.